the top 12 challenge of icons, I wanted to go with Joan of Arc with a little bit of a twist. So for the second look, I went for this kind of Phoenix Valkyrie look. So let's get started. Before we get started, just a little reminder that if you did want me to make it to top 6, which is a huge deal, all you have to do is go to faceawards.com and you can vote 3 times per day per email. And it would mean the world to me. And I'm still not getting any better at making faces during voiceovers. <laughs> So starting off with the first look, I decided to base my Joan off of this 1902 painting by Albert Lynch. So starting off, I took my regular foundation, and then I took the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation, and I added that to the highlights of my face just to bring some dimensionality to it. Now for her eyebrows, I'm taking the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade, and I'm just basing out those eyebrows. I wasn't very focused on making these perfect because they wouldn't be perfect historically, so I was just focused on making my natural eyebrows a bit darker. Then to add that little bit of realism, I'm taking the NYX Professional Makeup That's the Point Eyeliner and I'm just barely skimming over the real hairs of my eyebrows. And that really helps sell that this is actually my eyebrow color and it makes it a lot more realistic. Mmm, <laughs> action eyebrows! Why does my nose move so much when I move my eyebrows? Look at that! For the eyes, I'm taking Raven by NYX Professional Makeup, and I'm just kind of following that reference painting. Again, not too worried about it being clean, because she's a warrior, you know? She doesn't have time for precise makeup. Next, I'm taking the Ultimate Palette, and I'm going in with this lighter tan color, and just adding a little bit of contour to the bridge of my nose. Then I'm going in with this darker brown, and just adding a bit more shadow to the eyes on the upper lids and then the lower lids as well. For blush, I'm going in with this NYX Ombre Blush. Just gives a little bit more of a sun-kissed feel than my normal pink. For the lips, I'm going in with this shade of NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream. Again, just matching that painting. In week 10. There it goes again. For mascara, I'm going in with NYX's Worth the Hype mascara, and I'm just going pretty simple with this. And for an added dramatic effect, I'm going in with that dark brown color from before and adding some dirt smudges. And then it's armor time. For the armor, I ordered it on Amazon. It's a pretty crappy Halloween costume armor, very unflattering. And I spray painted everything silver. And then using black acrylic paint, I'm just adding some darkness and some weathering to all the little crevices. And this really, really helps sell that it's actual metal. And uh, I don't really want to talk about how long this took me. <laughs> yeah. For the banner, I took bed sheets that I bought. traced out the pattern that I wanted, and then cut it all out. I then sewed the edges, and then added a little golden phoenix on it, just to be a little cheeky. And that is it for the first Joan look. I hope that you guys like this. It was basically a childhood dream to be this badass in a suit of armor, and I finally got to live it out. And now on to the Phoenix look. So starting off with the liquid hot magma, I'm going in with a thicker version of That's the Point eyeliner, and I'm just plotting out where I want all these magma cracks to go. Next up is my new favorite thing, cotton and latex which is super easy. All you're gonna do is tear apart those cotton balls, use a crappy brush, and then you're gonna saturate that cotton with the liquid latex. And for me, I tried to form it as best I could to match those markings that I had made. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to make sure that there's a clear channel in between all the rock chunks. And basically just keep repeating. a little 
little bit like a Spitwad Dino right now, but uh, I promise it looks cooler in the end. I can promise that will happen about 3,000 times. So I'm taking that drop foundation from before and just basing out the rest of my skin. Now I'm taking the black SFX cream paint from NYX and also this flat brush from NYX and I'm just pressing on that black cream paint. Then I'm going in with a smaller brush and I'm just pressing that paint into all the nooks and crannies, leaving a little bit of the latex showing because I like that it kind of looked like stone. Then for the lava, I'm taking a water activated paint and going in between those channels that I had created first with a darker red and then I'm going to go in later with an orange and then finally a yellow. I went in with the smaller brush from NYX just to add those details. I found that the gradient of colors really, really helped sell the effect that it was magma. I then went in with the black again and just kind of cleaned up all those edges, making them a little bit sharper and more rock-like. They're a little, a little bit too chunky for my liking. Then added yellow to the kind of intersections of all these different little pathways, just because that would hold a very high concentration of the magma, making it very hot. For the eyes, I'm going in with this NYX Pigment Primer. I'm then going in with pigments from NYX in Old Hollywood and this mixing medium. I'm using the mixing medium to kind of cement that loose powder onto my eyes and make a really, really pretty gold color. I wanted to make a really graphical eyeliner look for this, so I based it out in gold first before I added all the dark lines. I'm using my That's the Point eyeliner to really get in and do those really tiny little details. After I did both eyes, I decided to add these little lines to kind of transition the molten lava to my face. Now going in with the ultimate shadow palette in brights, I'm adding the light orange and yellow shade to the inner corners of my eyes just to reflect the molten lava that frames my face. And to my nose. Because why not take a crazy chance? Thank you. And then repeated the same process all over my neck and on the tops of my shoulders, starting with basing out where I wanted it to go, and then doing the cotton and latex. Which took just about forever. <laughs> Six months later. And after all that was done, I returned to my lips and made it look like I performed a great Cheeto heist. <laughs> and then I took the NYX Strictly Vinyl Lipstick and I added it to the center of my lips and then patted it out to create a more natural gradient. I then went in with NYX's Silver Cream Paint and brushed that on top of my existing Magma Rocks just to give it that finishing touch. Then went in with the mascara from before. I was gonna go with lashes for this, but then I decided to nix them. Because <laughs> I didn't want this to be too glamorous of a look. Once I had the wig and everything on, I added the finishing touches. For the headpiece, I used Warbla, which is a thermal plastic that you can heat up and mold. rolling up little bits to create those details. Spray painted it silver. 
and then used the same method that I used for the armor and just took black and got it into the, all the little crevices just to age it a bit and make it more believable as metal. And then added the feathers. And then brought up that orange and yellow theme. I also added this little chain from the craft store and painted it as well. For the dress to create a realistic burn, I uh, basically roasted it over the fire like a marshmallow. That's not safe. Do not recommend. In addition to that, I added some more spray paint just to make it a bit more dramatic, realistically where the smoke would be trailing up her dress. So that is it. That was my top 12 entry for the NYX Face Awards. It just feels so good to finally be done with it and to be able to show you guys I worked so hard on it. If you did want to vote for me to make it to top six, which is honestly a dream come true and I don't even know what I would do if I made top six, all you have to do is go to faceawards.com, find my video, you can vote three times per day, per email, that's seven full days of voting, or I'll have a direct link in my bio below. Thank you so much, it means the world to me. And I really, really need your guys' help if I wanna make it to top six. Every single vote counts, and you guys are just so amazing, and you've been so amazing in the past few rounds. I love you all so very much, whether you're new or old to this channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I'm gonna jam out to some emo tunes. Yeah, I'm recording. That's my battle cry. That's your battle cry. You you overdid mine. I was doing it. <laughs> You're smiling too much. Kill the camera. Kill the camera with snipe. With your sword. With my look. What? <laughs> Why did you do that? Ah! <laughs> Just kidding. I won't make noise. <laughs> I want to see some more of the headdress. So. <coughs> Juliana! It's like your Disney Channel wand, you're like... I'm Joan of Arc, and you're watching Disney Channel.